So after one of the worst representations of a comic book character ever with Deadpool and X-Men Origins Wolverine, we've now somehow gotten a Deadpool movie, miraculously once again starring Ryan Reynolds. So let's hope this is finally the character being done justice and not the final nail in the coffin. Let's get into it. Hear the music. Alright, let's just cut to the chase. This review is a bit late, you've all seen the movie by now. So, do I think Deadpool is any good? Well, it's not just good, I think it's pretty fantastic. First up, I am so happy to see Ryan Reynolds nailing this character, because when he was cast in Origins Wolverine, that was a great casting choice. It's just literally everything else was horribly wrong with that character. But now he gets to play the real Deadpool, and he's absolutely amazing at it. This is another Robert Downey Jr., Hugh Jackman spot on casting situation. Also, I've said it before, and now I can say it with a bit more certainty, I think this might be the best superhero movie costume we've ever seen. It's just so comic accurate and so much fun to watch, and they got those little white eyes on his mask to convey so much emotion. It's just spectacular. All the other cast members play their parts well, especially TJ Miller's Weasel and Ed Skrine's the villain. The action scenes are all very fun, exciting, over the top, and hilarious. I could just watch Deadpool doing this kind of stuff all day. I wouldn't say there's a ton of action, a lot of this is a bit more just comedy, but there's still quite a bit of it, and it's entertaining as hell when it's there. Also, for a movie with a $60 million budget, the effects look pretty awesome. And of course, the main selling point behind this movie, this film is hilarious. Nearly all the jokes landed for me, from the one-liners to the movie references to the fourth wall breaks, and just like I'd hoped, this film pokes fun at Ryan Reynolds' previous work and the superhero genre in general, in the perfect way. I was laughing pretty hard in this movie from the opening all the way to the end credit scene. Also, on that note, this film might have the best opening credits of all time. Those might have been the funniest part of an overall really funny movie. And to address what everyone's been talking about since this was announced, this film's R rating. Yeah, it's pretty violent and profane, and that really fits with Deadpool. However, I would say that if you're in my general age range around 13, 14, 15, and you thought the Red Band trailers didn't look like too much for you, then I'm pretty sure you can handle watching this movie. If I had to nitpick something about this movie, it does slow down a tiny bit in the middle. No spoilers, but in the midst of all this insane comic book fun, it takes a bit of a more serious turn, at least for a few minutes. And while it wasn't bad and I enjoyed that segment, it didn't really fit in with the rest of the film for me. And I think on repeat viewings, I might just gloss over that bit. Not bad at all, that part just didn't really flow super well for me in terms of the tone. Also, another thing I'd like to address with this movie, everything that I said I wanted to see in this film back in my Deadpool Wishes video, it completely delivered on. It used the R rating, it had over the top violent action, it broke the fourth wall a lot, and it didn't tie into the larger universe too much. It did have some links to the X-Men universe, but they were all really funny and fit in perfectly with the jokes. Overall, Deadpool was an extremely entertaining, extremely absurd, extremely funny movie, and it made this genre feel very fresh again, which is fantastic and exactly what we need in a year with half a dozen of these movies coming out. This film is great, especially if you're a fan of these kinds of movies and if you can handle a bit of violence and profanity, and I'll give Deadpool a 9.6 out of 10. So those were my thoughts on the new Deadpool movie. What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like this video, check out my Instagram at BHL underscore Hudson, and subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.